Hey everyone, I'm Chloe and welcome back to my channel and back to another episode in the authentication series. So today I'll be going over my four step guide to authenticate a Gucci handbag. So by the end of this video, if you follow all four steps, you'll be able to authenticate your own Gucci handbag if you're buying it on a reseller site or if you have one in your closet and you want to just go check and make sure it's authentic, you'll be able to use this four step checklist. So stick around until the end to learn all four and don't forget to hit subscribe and let's get right into it. Okay, so for today's video, I'll be going along and authenticating um, in the process as we go with the four step checklist. And I'll be using this uh, Gucci bag, the Gucci GG Ophidia uh, canvas shoulder bag. So uh, oh yeah, I'll be using this and we'll get a real first hand um, example of everything I'll, I'll be talking about in the checklist. Okay, so first up on the checklist is the material of the handbag. So either the leather or the canvas, that's usually going to be the go-to's for the Gucci handbags. So for example, the one that I showed you just now, um, this one is the canvas material right here. Um, and as you can see, it has the, the GG print, it has the classic. Um, green and red stripe, and you see the logo right here as well, with the double G's. Um, so something to note about this canvas material is you want the G's to be facing each other. Um, it'll be that repeating pattern. It's not to get confused with the older um, prints that they used to have, which was the, um, the diamonds, the Gucci Diamante style. So that was in the very beginning. So if you see one with that, it's still real, it's just, a vintage style but what we're talking about today will be the GG canvas um, so you'll just see this repeating pattern okay so for the canvas on this material of handbag um, you'll be having the G's they should face each other with the left hand of the G facing to the right and the right hand of the G facing to the left um, and so when this is replicated, it's incorrectly, it's really sloppy and easy to spot a fake. So you just want to really pay attention to this. Um, the serifs of the G's should be long and elegant. Um, so the part that extends into the G should never be longer as well than the part that um, extends towards the opposite G. They should not be blurry. Um, they also should not look modern or too chunky, but rather slim and elegant, as you can see. Um, and also the rounded part of the G should be a perfect oval. It shouldn't be pointed in any weird place or direction. And then something else to note about the pattern is there will be these two dots that will be um, interconnecting the G's. And this is something to look out for as well, like where the spacing is um, and how many dots there are. <laughs> because a lot of times you'll see counterfeiters who will get that wrong and they'll have either like too many little dots in between um, or they'll be weirdly spaced so just really pay attention and look at um, an authentic uh, Gucci bag and these details um, and just keep that in mind when you're looking at other bags as well to try and authenticate it so it should just be really clean uh, not sloppy at all um, and just have those those two dots in between each of the the GG logos and another thing to note is that this logo should be woven into the canvas. It should never be printed. So if you look closely as well, you'll be able to tell if it was printed or if it was woven. And another thing to note is just if you can feel the handbag when you're authenticating it, it helps a lot. It just, it feels so much more real, I think. Um, and you can tell just by everything, like the stitching and stuff, the Gucci stitching will always be very like tight and um, just nice and like even won't be messy at all. Really, they take such good care of like detail. Um, it's really important and yeah, you'll just be able to really tell and feel the canvas should be like a little rougher um, and just, you know, feel like canvas and over time it can soften, but um, you know, a new one's gonna feel like a little more stiff um, when you're first buying it. For Gucci's leather handbags, another common uh, print is the Gucci Sima logo, where it's the, um, the classic 
GG print and it's um, embossed onto the leather. So I'll show a picture as well um, on the screen so you guys can take a look and see. Um, so that will also just be very well defined. It won't look messy or sloppy. You'll be able to really see the actual print and the G's and the design. So um, it will just be very clear as well. Okay, so next up on our authentication list is to check the hardware. So hardware can be a really big giveaway and a good go-to to look at when you're trying to authenticate a bag. So for Gucci bags, if you're looking and the hardware is like hollow feeling or just kind of like just tarnished or just doesn't feel like high quality, then that's a really good giveaway because the Gucci hardware should be very sturdy um, and solid feeling. Um, it'll actually be like, pretty heavy like this one. Um, when I have it on my shoulder, just on my shoulder, it will lean a certain direction where both of the, um, the hardware zippers are because they're just so heavy and solid. Okay, so for the hardware also, it will be um, it will always be metal, it will never be like plastic or a different type of material. Um, and on a lot of the, the handbags, it'll have Gucci engraved on the zipper, so you can look for that and it should be clear and legible. Um, it's not going to be sloppy at all, that's a pretty good giveaway that it's a fake. Um, and then with um, the actual the zipper part, it's always going to be metal. So as we can see here as well, it's just going to be metal and um, on some of the newer bags it just depends on the style but you'll have um, this right here as the um, zipper pull and as you can see it's, it's very um, weighty <laughs> metal it's a little heavy and so this one looks like it checks all the boxes for the zippers um, it's not tarnished or anything it looks like in pretty good quality Okay, so now talking about the hardware with the logos on the bag. So Gucci, the logo used to be with um, the two Gs um, overlapping and facing each other. Um, also an image on the screen um, and also an example of a vintage uh, Gucci wallet where you can see the logo very clearly with the two Gs, what it used to be. Um, but then in 2016, um, Alessandro Michel, the new creative director for Gucci, um, he still is today, he switched around the logo. Um, so that's why you'll see some Gucci logos on handbags that is a little different than what you'll see on some of the newer handbags. And that's okay, it's just because the logo was updated. Um, so now on a lot of the newer handbags, you'll be seeing um, this logo right here. And as you can see, um, it's two G's still, um, but they're overlapping and they're facing the same direction. So just really paying attention to that and the way that their, um, their arms curve right there. Um, and then so you'll also see on some of the other Gucci bags, like the um, Dionysus bag, um, you'll see leather or you'll see, um, and it'll just be plain leather, it won't have embossed um, on it. And then um, you'll have some that are the canvas material as well. And the, on the flap, the closure, I'll put a picture up, you'll see um, the clasp is a tiger. <laughs> so it's like a fun little um, like clasp to close the bag. So that's really common as well to see. Um, they have a lot of different types of styles um, that came out with Alessandro Michelle. Um, and another really popular Gucci bag that we've seen um, over the last couple years that's really state and style is the Gucci Marmont bag. So it's a leather bag with a quilted pattern on it and then it has um, a very big uh, Gucci logo with the, the new design of the um, overlapping G's. Um, and it's, really, it's sleek, so um, on the, the top of the G um, curving over, it's a little thinner than um, the other part of the G. So I'll have a picture up there so you guys can really see up close. Um, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this one as well. Okay, so, so far um, this Gucci bag has checked off the list on our two um, items so far. So let's move on to the third, which is the serial number tag. And this is a really good indication, um, a lot of people think, to spot the real Gucci bag from the fake Gucci bag. 
Um, so this will be found, it's a, a leather little tag, um, and it'll be found inside of the bag, and it will either be like a square or like a slight rectangle shape um, with some curved edges. It will not be all the way sewn down into the bag. Um, I'll pop a, a video on as well to show you what I found in this bag right here. So as you can see, it um, flaps up and that's where you can see the serial number code. And it will be between 10 to 13 numbers um, in total. Um, if you're interested in buying Gucci bags, uh, make a point to really study this. So they include the trademark symbol at the top of the tag. Um, although occasionally it will be missing from like older bags, vintage ones. Um, the word Gucci is in the middle with the letter G formed the same way um, as it is in the interlocking G's of the logo. The words made in Italy at the bottom and the words should be all lowercase um, and in the same font as the name of the company just above it. And also the serifs on the G are equal unlike the um, interlocking G's that are not. And also another interesting thing to look at for lettering is the U in Gucci. Um, so that is going to have um, a thicker side on the left hand side of the U versus on the right hand side. It'll be a little thinner. So that's an important thing to look out for. And then for the other letters, when you're looking at the C's um, in the board Gucci, they're going to be very round as well. Um, and resemble the G um, and how circular it is. See the first row of numbers is the style of the handbag and the second row is the supplier um, batch code from where the handbag came from. However, something to really note as well is that um, that number, the code, the code on the bottom of your serial tag is not going to be unique just for your bag. Um, so for example, if this bag right here, it came from a certain factory and then it has the, the style of the handbag on the top. Um, there, there's going to be other bags that are coming from that same factory that will have the exact same code. So it's really just to tell you where it came from. Um, so don't be alarmed as well if it's the same as someone else's. Okay, and then something else that Gucci did that starting in around 2016 or 2017 up until now, which is 2021, um, they actually put in QR codes um, inside of the bag. It'll be this little black um, tag and it'll have a QR code on it. And this actually helps you authenticate the bag, which is super cool. I wish other designers did this as well because it would just be just really easy <laughs> um, and it help a lot. So you'll just scan it with your phone and it'll help you authenticate that the bag is truly like where it came from and it's authentic. Okay, so as we saw, everything checked out with my bag here with the, um, the serial tag um, on the top and the bottom. We had those numbers and the logo looked good and clear. It had the trademark. So that's checked off the list. So last but not least, we're going to be checking on the, the list is the dust bag and the um, cards, the papers that come with the bag. So um, Gucci bags should always be packaged very nicely as well. It should never be wrapped in plastic or anything. Like that's a huge sign that it's a fake. So like run the other direction. <laughs> um, and so it should be packaged nicely and they'll come in um, a duster bag as well, like this one on the screen. Um, you have to inspect it um, pretty closely as well. Um, it'll be like a very nice, almost like satiny material, just very high quality. And the little logo here will be, um, it'll be stitched on. So it's very delicate, like hand stitched, as you can tell. And it'll be stitched on the, the top and the bottom, but not on the sides. So that's something else to note. And it's almost like an off-white. And then it has Gucci and black. So look closely at some other ones that you're questioning if they're fake or real because some of the fakes will come with duster bags, but they'll not be of great quality. And so this one, as you can see, it's some nice straps right here. And they're both on this side, the left side of the bag. So you'll just pull it close and this is where you can keep your handbag in when you're not using it. 
So everything looks good with this. It checks off all of the things on the list. Um, like, like I have been doing, I'll pop up some examples on the screen as well so you can compare what's fake and what's real so you know what to look out for. Okay, so last but not least, it's like at the papers that come with the bag. So it should come with a card that is called the Controllato card. Um, and this bag um, unfortunately does not have one because I rented this from a place called Big Borrow and Seal to inspect it. So it did not come with one. Um, they did not send me one. Um, so it's not also the only thing that you should look for um, and authenticate as a handbag. Like that should not be the only thing because people can if you're selling a pre-loved bag, it may not come with one because the person who had it before could have like misplaced it or something. Um, but also these can be replicated as well, so I just wouldn't look at that to be the very, the only thing to check off and say that it's real. Um, people can put in the, the papers for these cards um, and switch them out as well because they're not attached to the bag or anything, they just come with it. So it's important to look at um, if you do have the opportunity of inspecting it, but it should not be the only thing to look for when you're authenticating a bag. We have to go through the four step checklist um, that I've been talking about. So the cards will be white um, in the older ones and an off-white in the newer cards. Um, and controllato means checked in Italian and it's proof that the bag went through the quality control process is what it means. Um, so the card reads Gucci Controllato and underneath are the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. So um, there are two problems, like I mentioned, with um, using this card to just tell you if your bag is real or not, where they can be misplaced um, or switched out. Um, so therefore, like if your bag doesn't have a card, it doesn't mean it's automatically dismissed as being a fake. So in addition to the Controllato card, there's also the information cards. And this too can get separated from the bag or produced by counterfeiters. So one that doesn't look right, for instance, like the logos are cracked, can be used to show that the bag is counterfeit. Um, but a lack of these cards can't be used to show that the bag is not genuine because they can always be misplaced. <laughs> and new bags also have a label on the inside of the bag with a QR code on it. That I mentioned earlier so I would encourage you to look at that um, over just the card that comes in. I would still check it out if uh, one of those papers and the cards come in the bag just to take a look and see if you can identify anything from it but, but like I've been saying you can't just base something if it's real or not off of just like one fact you have to look at the whole comprehensive picture so that's why we go through the four step checklist to authenticate a Gucci handbag. Okay, so after going through the four-step checklist, we went through and used this bag as an example, and everything checked off our list great, except we did not have the, um, the papers and the cards since this was a rented bag. So that's okay though, because everything else checked off great. Um, there were no red flags, so I can say that this is an authentic Gucci bag. And yeah, we went through the whole process and I hope it helped you guys as well to learn a little more about what to look for, the details that are very important to look for, and the ones that are important but aren't the defining factor. Alright, so thank you for watching. I hope you learned how to authenticate a Gucci bag and you'll be able to use this information um, going forward, whether you're buying a bag online at a reseller site or looking in your closet and trying to authenticate a bag you already have. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you won't miss another video in the series on authenticating luxury designer handbags. So thanks for watching.